Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another brutally honest review. Today we are gonna get into all of the dirty, dirty details about Princess Polly. Princess Polly is a really popular trendy brand. It's, it's something I'm always seeing influencers hype up, but I haven't really been able to shop there because up until a couple months ago, they only carried up to a size 12. Earlier this year though, they launched their first ever plus size collection and so many of you have been asking for a review, accidental rhyme, um, but let's get into it. <laughs> okay, I just sat down to try and order the stuff for this review and ooh, buckle up. <laughs> so I took a look at their size chart and I, I was just kind of confused. I usually wear a size 20 or a 2X, but on Princess Polly's size chart, it says a 2X would be a 6XL. And that's different from like pretty much any other brand. So I, I just wanted to do a little bit of research to make sure that that was accurate and I ordered the correct size. So I went down the rabbit hole of blog posts and Reddit threads and YouTube videos about Princess Polly to try and find some experiences from real people who've shopped there. And the consensus basically was things fit a little bit small, but the size chart is mostly accurate. So with numbered sizing, like uh, 12, 14, 16, so on, most people order a combination of their usual size and a size up. And then for alpha sizing, like 1X, 2X, 3X, they order based off the size chart, not their their usual size. So like in a, a video that I watched by Kiko Beauty, which by the way, I'm gonna link her channel in the description. She is a small creator who just deserves way more hype. So definitely check her out. But in her video, she said that she usually wears a size 16 or a 1X in other brands. And from Princess Polly, she gets a 16, 18, 3X or 4X. So that size chart is accurate. Uh, a size 20 would be a 6X. Now that number on a tag, that does not matter. It does not define you. It's completely arbitrary. It it doesn't matter if the tag on my shirt says extra large or 6X, all that matters is that it fits me and that I feel good in it. But the problem with this is it's really misleading. With a brief look at Princess Polly's plus size collection, it seems really inclusive. They go up to a 6X. But once you dig just a little bit deeper, it becomes pretty clear that that's not actually the case. And here's the kicker. After all of this, I just realized Princess Polly's plus size collection only goes up to a size 20 or a 6X. That's where it maxes out. So my size is the biggest size they carry. I don't have the option to size up. And that also means that anyone bigger than me can't shop there. And that freaking sucks. Like I, I, I'm honestly sitting here questioning if I should just scrap this entire video, but no, I, I do actually, I think we should still order. Like I, I want you guys to see this. If you're thinking of ordering from Princess Polly, like hopefully this is helpful. I feel like this is important to know. So I guess, I guess it's time to shop. I, I'm a little bit nervous about things fitting me because like I said, it, it seems like the consensus is that they do run a little bit small and sizing up is not an option. So fingers crossed, I guess. All right, so here is my order. Everything's in. I, I tried to order like a, a pretty good variety of pieces. That way I can give a, a well-rounded review. So we've got some dresses, some pants, some tops, nine items total. And I, I got a lot of things that are just right up my alley, totally my style. And I also tried to pick some things that are a little bit more outside the box. So we mix it up a little bit. The total was $478, but I got a coupon on Honey that saved me $120. So that brought it down to $358.50. Not sponsored, but shout out to Honey, that was clutch. <laughs> and I got everything in a size 20 or a 6XL. There are a few pieces that I would have sized up in because like I said, it seems like things kind of run small. If I had the option to do that, but as we learned, I did not. <laughs> so hopefully this stuff fits, but at least if it doesn't, they have a really good return policy. 30 days for a full refund, so that's at least good. But all right. First item. First up, we have the Party Time Mini Dress Green Curve. It was $68. Well, kind of, it was $68 before the coupon code, but I'm not about to do the math on all of these. So I'm just gonna put the original price. And here we have it. The material is like a, a really stretchy knit. It feels pretty high quality too, just right out of the package. So let's see how it fits. So if you're new to my Brutally Honest reviews, the way that I like to do things is I'm gonna rate each item out of 10 and I take all the factors into account for that. So quality, fit, style, price, and my personal preference. And if I like the item, I'll tell you. And if I don't, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And we're starting off strong with this dress because I do really like it. Here's a look from the front, the side, 
the back. It's a nice dress. I like the way it fits. I like the way it lays. It's a very adjustable piece too, because it's like a wrap style. Without the belt tied, you can see it's just kind of like loose and shapeless. And then you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want. The one thing I don't like about the tie on this though, is it's like a really thick, long, heavy rope. Rope, tie, thing. It's just, it, she, she's a thick boy. And so I actually looped it around my waist twice just so that this wasn't like quite so, I guess, cumbersome. A little bit easier to manage. And then I really like it. I think it's a nice length too. I'm about 5'5 five five for reference. And my first impression on the quality was pretty spot on. This feels like, like a pretty nice high-end dress. Like $68 is a lot, but I could see a place like Nordstrom charging double that for this quality. I like this dress. I'm definitely gonna keep it. I feel like we're off to a good start. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Pretty much as good of a rating as I'm gonna give something unless it like hits it out of the park. Like to give something a 10, I have to like never wanna take it off. Next up is the Euro Pants Curve for $50. And I literally just picked these up, but the, the stark contrast in the quality of the material from the last dress to these pants is just glaring. These feel very cheap. They look thin. They don't feel really high quality. They're feeling very uh, Shein so far. Hopefully they don't fit that way. I'm also gonna try these on with a top from Princess Polly. This is the Recycled Fibers Aria Long Sleeve Top White Curve, $43. And it was marked as part of their sustainable collection. And when I saw that on the website, I, I wanted to just do a little bit of research into what they actually mean when they say sustainable. Like what are they doing differently than their other pieces? Because greenwashing is just such a huge issue. A lot of brands will just slap eco on something and call it a day without actually doing anything differently. But I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of information that Princess Polly had on their sustainability. They had a lot of information on their use of organic, recycled and forest friendly materials that have a lower environmental footprint, the certifications they have for those materials, their demand driven fashion model to manage manufacture in small batches, that way they limit textile waste, their adherence to the United Nations sustainable development goals, and their priority to keep those sustainable pieces at an accessible price point. Now, very important little footnote here. I am far from an expert on sustainability. I'm very much a novice. I've been trying to educate myself more, but I don't know what the exact standards are for the global organic textile certification. I don't know the ins and outs of the United Nations sustainable development goals. So I can't say for sure sure if this is, you know, a, a good sustainable collection. But from, you know, my limited scope, it does seem like they actually provided a good amount of information and that they actually have plans to continue doing better, even though they do have a long way to go. On their website, they have outlined their goals for improving their sustainability and ethicality through 2025. So it seems like they're making some good steps forward, but I, I did just want to share that with you guys because that is something that's important to consider as a consumer. And I'm gonna link some resources in the description on greenwashing and sustainability in general if you wanna do more research yourself. So definitely check those out, but uh, let, let's try these pieces on. So the fit on both of these pieces is just like, it's it's a little off, it's a little odd. Let's start with the pants. Uh, I, I love the length on these. I also love the fit in the thighs, in the hip, in the butt. That's all great. And then the waist is really loose, but not in like the typical way that something would fit loose in the waist. It almost feels like this, it's a construction issue of the pants. Like if I sized down, I, I feel like this would still be an issue. It's like they were built to be low waisted, but in a high waisted cut. Like instead of, you know, tapering in from the hip to the waist, it just goes straight up. Like maybe if there was some sort of elastic or structure in the waist, they would fit a little bit better. But as they stand, uh, they kind of fit like a beginner sewing project. <laughs> and the material does feel really cheap, really thin. I don't think these are pants that would last a long time. And for $50, I want a pair of pants that's really gonna last. And then the shirt I think is just too big. Maybe if I size down, it would fit better. But right now it feels like just nothing is sitting right. Nothing is laying quite right. If I were to wear this shirt, I'd be kind of constantly just pulling and readjusting. And I really like the idea of both of these pieces. I feel like just the, the execution and the fit, at least on my body, is not great. The top's hard to rate because it doesn't fit me well, but I do really like the style of this. I guess I'll give it a six and a half out of 10. And then the pants, 
these are gonna be like a four, which might seem a little high considering how much I just like bashed the fit of these pants. But I feel like they do look cute. Like if I if I was forced to wear these pants, I wouldn't mind it. They just need like better better construction. Our next item is the Elish mini dress in blue curve for $55. This is one of the pieces I picked that's uh, a little outside my comfort zone. Kind of cool, kind of funky, kind of different. And the material, it, it's just like a sweater material, but like lighter weight. Very interested to see what this looks like on. It also seems pretty short. Okay, so for a piece that I would not normally buy for myself, like outside of a review, I feel surprisingly great in this. Like it's a really nice cut. A really low maintenance, just easy to wear, lightweight material. And it's such a fun pattern. I feel like, honestly, this gives me like music festival vibes. You know, like something someone would wear to wait five hours in the heat for Revolve Fest. <laughs> Except usually pieces like this would not come in my size. So I feel like this is really, really fun. My one complaint with the cut though is it does like cut in pretty deep on the sides here. So my bra is visible. That could be like easily fixed by just wearing a bandeau over it though. And I've really been warming up to bodycon dresses like this lately. And I especially like that this is like a pretty easy to wear carefree one. For the price though, like this was listed at $55. I will say the quality doesn't feel like quite up to that level. But it's cute and it's fun and it's different and I feel really good in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of ten. Next up is the Kirsten pants curve. These were sixty four dollars. A nice fun pink statement pant and they definitely feel nicer than uh, the plaid pants, but still feel kind of cheap. Definitely not like a sixty four dollar pant. But I'm at least hopeful with the fit. They look like I would expect a twenty to look and they have an elastic waistband in the back, which is something I feel like usually makes pants more comfortable and also fit, you know, more bodies, different proportions. And then with these pants, I, I loved the outfit they had the model in with this cool like motorcycle crop tank. So I actually bought that as well. It's the Moto Club singlet white curve and it was $42, which it's kind of hard to believe. I paid $42 for this little teeny teeny crop top, but it does look really cute. And the fabric feels nice out of the package. It's like a, a pretty nice ribbed stretchy material. So let's see what these to look like uh, actually on. So here is the Moto Tank with the pink pants. And the thing with, really with both of these pieces, but mainly the pants is I like the idea, I like the style, but the fit and the sizing just isn't working for me. I would really love to try these pants in a size down. I think unlike the first pair of pants where it was really an issue with the waist, I think these are just kind of big everywhere. And so not only would the waist not be comfortable to wear because I'd be doing this <laughs> the whole time, but the fabric's kind of bunched in the crotch, they just, I got, I got like the saggy butt look. But unlike the first pair of pants, at least these ones have elastic in the back. So they fit a little bit better. I think if the first pair had like the, the style of waist that these ones do, those would have been great. But I, I do think I, I wanna exchange these for the 18 because unlike the first pair of pants, there aren't any glaring like construction issues. They're pretty good quality. I think I would also just have a lot of fun styling these. So as it stands, I'm gonna get these pants a uh, six out of 10, but I could see that number going up to like really as high as an eight in the size down if the, the fit is better. And then the tank top, I really like the idea of this and I wanna like it more than I do. I feel like it's something that like Kendall Jenner would wear with like no bra and just nips out and people would call it high fashion. <laughs> but for me personally, it's just so, like it's so cropped, it's so short. When I raise my hands up, the fabric gets caught on the bra and just completely exposes my under boob. Or I guess it's not really my under boob, it's more like my under bra. <laughs> if this was just like, two inches longer, this would be such a cute crop top. But as it stands, I just feel like it wouldn't be functional for me. It's not something I would really reach for. And for $42, I, I gotta expect more. I'm gonna give it a, a four and a half out of 10. Wow, I'm surprised I rated this lower than the pants, but I feel like it's because the pants, the pants have more potential, you know? Item number seven, we have the Love Galore Romper in blue curve for $68. This looks really cute. This, this I am excited to try on. It also feels pretty nice, pretty high quality. Let's try it on. This dress gives me big Mamma Mia vibes. Like very, it's, it's a very ingenue dress and uh, I'm not usually the ingenue. I am the comedic side character. It's just fun, it's cute, it's 
it's breezy. And I love the fact that it's shorts instead of a dress because it just gives me that extra bit of like comfort and security. I'm not gonna flash anyone. It's got the nice smocked waist here. I love the little ruffles on the legs. But what's really surprising me with this romper is the fit. I would say it fits a little bit too loose for my personal preference. I think it looks fine, but I feel like this is just kind of sagging down. The arms are kind of falling off, which I guess I could just wear it like off the shoulder like this. This is a big hit for me. I really, really like this, definitely keeping it. And actually in the last video, if you saw my inside the dressing room at Old Navy, I almost bought a dress very similar to this. I decided to pass and I like low key regretted it, but now I don't because I actually like this way better and it's a romper. So the material does feel a little bit cheaper than I would expect for $68, but I love the style, so I feel like it's totally worth it. It does run a little bit big though, which is surprising to me from, you know, everything that I read online. I feel like all in all, uh, a size down might just fit me a little bit better. It feels like this is kind of falling off in some places. There's so much room in the legs, I would not be hurting for space in a smaller size. So I actually think I'm gonna exchange this for the 18. If you're gonna get this, I'd recommend sizing down. But yeah, it's a great little romper. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I'm really impressed. Our next item, is another one from the Sustainable Collection. It's the Organic Cotton Lindsay Bodysuit in Brown Curve. $38, a nice basic bodysuit. Let's try it. All right, the bodysuit. I paired this with uh, just these shorts from my closet. They're from Target. I'll link them in the description. And I wasn't trying to make like an outfit. I just didn't want to try on the bodysuit with no pants. But I feel like this is like such a cute little outfit. So simple. I love the tone of this brown. I feel like it's a really nice neutral without being too boring. It's like a very rich color. The material feels very nice. I feel like this is a basic I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of. And you know how sometimes on bodysuit, like the snaps feel very cheap and they're like kind of finicky and difficult to do. That was not the case with this. This felt very high quality, very nice. It was very easy to button. And I feel like, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt on the sustainability, $38 for a, a nice high quality sustainable basic is really understandable. And I feel like there's just truly nothing to complain about with this piece. Do I give it a nine? It's a little basic for a nine, but the basicness means that I'll get a ton of wear out of it, which maybe makes it better. Okay, I talked myself into it. It's a nine. Our last item is the Mahalia shirt in green curve, 50 bucks. And if you know me and you know my videos and you know my style, you know I am an absolute sucker for like an oversized linen button up. I think these kind of things are just so cute. So I've got high hopes. It feels really nice, really soft, well constructed. Here we go. Well, this is my official audition to uh, be cast as Shaggy Sorry. in the 27th Scooby-Doo reboot. <laughs> Really though, it gives big shaggy vibes, especially just layering it over the brown bodysuit. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like just like immediately putting it on, but I am gonna roll up the sleeves real quick. This is how I like to style these kind of button ups, just like loosely kind of cuffing the sleeves, wearing it open. And I love that this is like a nice oversized loose fit without actually having to size up. That was something that I was worried about with so many of the reviews saying that things run small. To get an oversized fit like this in a lot of different brands, sometimes I'll have to size up like two or three sizes. And so I do really like that this is just designed to be oversized and you can buy your normal size. The color is nice, the material's nice. This is just a, a great little button up. It reminds me a lot of my favorite white button up, which I actually thrifted. And I've had a really difficult time finding a, a similar fit and vibe in different colors. And this fits the bill. I really love this, definitely keeping it. I guess it's a nine out of 10. And also, if you wanted to, if it's more your style, how cute does this look tied up? So there was a lot about the Princess Polly clothes that really surprised me. First, I was genuinely surprised by how many of the clothes I loved. And I was also really surprised by the fit. I feel like it ran slightly big and I was kind of expecting the opposite. The quality was all over the place. It, it's hard to believe that that green dress and the checkered pants are from the same brand at like a similar price point because those are just in two completely different leagues in terms of quality. As for what I'm keeping, definitely this green shirt and the brown bodysuit. I feel like realistically in my everyday life, these are the two pieces I'm gonna get the most consistent wear out of. I'm also keeping the green dress and the funky blue dress. I, I feel like all the dresses were really consistent hits. I'm gonna exchange the blue romper and the pink pants for a size down. And I'm returning the checkered pants, the moto shirt and the white puff sleeve. 
sleeve top. Now, kind of some final thoughts on Princess Polly. The thing is, finding trendy clothes like this in plus sizes is really hard. Usually shopping for plus size clothes feels like just this sea of frumpy, outdated things that are designed to hide your body. And these pieces are so far from that. I feel like these are the things that I see people wearing on Instagram and go, man, I wish they carried that in my size. I just wish more people could actually wear it. I wish they carried more sizes. I wish that when they said 6X, it actually went up to a 6X. The size range is disappointing. I hope they see some feedback on this and expand their line in the future because the stuff is really, really cute. So that is gonna be it for my brutally honest review of Princess Polly. I hope you enjoyed this. If you've wanted to shop from Princess Polly, I hope it was helpful to you. I'm gonna link all of the pieces that I reviewed in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye.